today's targets and focus, we're going to be discussing the euro dollar, dollar Swiss franc and Aussie yen. As a result, I'm glad to be joined on the phone by Valentin Marinov, head of European G10 FX strategy at City in London. Hi Valentin. Now, do you see euro dollar holding above 130 in the short to midterm? And what about looking further forward? We do suspect that euro dollar will uh, be uh, range bound for now with the 130 to 135 uh, range. Uh, seemingly likely to prevail in the very near term. We do suspect, however, that a downward bias uh, will remain in place. So in terms of projections, we uh, expect euro dollar to remain close to the lower bound of its uh, recent trading range. We expect euro dollar to be at 131 in one month and uh, 130 in three months. Going forward uh, over longer term, uh, longer term horizon, we expect that more accommodation uh, by the ECB and a deeper and more protracted recession in the eurozone on the top of lingering sovereign debt crisis in the eurozone periphery will likely push euro dollar uh, below uh, the current levels to 125 in uh, 12 months. What about one of the traditional safe havens, the Swiss franc? As we know, Europe's ongoing debt crisis continues to drive up demand for safer assets, therefore putting pressure on the strong Swiss franc. What's your outlook for the Swiss National Bank for the remainder of the year? And as a result, how do you foresee dollar Swiss franc performing over the next 12 months? In many ways, uh, dollar Swiss, or really the path of the Swiss franc against the dollar, will be uh, driven uh, by what, uh, or by the success of the SNB with defending its peg in uh, Euro Swiss. We, we think that actually the SNB will do its utmost, really defending the peg at uh, 120. It was uh, highlighted uh, by the uh, SNB's head, uh, Jordan, repeatedly, and we suspect that uh, indeed the SNB will pursue policies or take even further measures really to uh, defend uh, the peg. While we cannot exclude an increase in the peg to a higher level, maybe 125 or even higher, this is still not our central case. We expect Euro Swiss to remain close to the peg uh, going forward. As a result of that, and given our uh, fairly bearish view on Euro dollar, we expect dollar Swiss to actually continue on its upward path. Uh, we expect the cross to be at uh, close to current levels in three months, but uh, close to 0.97 in uh, 12 months. Needless to say, the deteriorating cyclical outlook for the Eurozone is likely to have negative implications for the growth outlook in Switzerland, so that the divergence between the cyclical developments in Switzerland and in the US actually are likely to add to the tailwinds for dollar Swiss. Finally, Valentin, what about Aussie yen? I understand you're expecting a gradual downtrend for this pair over the next year. Yes, uh, in many ways, uh, Australian dollar versus uh, yen is a function of two key drivers. Uh, one is our less constructive view on the Australian dollar as a whole, which in terms is a function of uh, more growth uncertainty about China going forward. And uh, indeed, uh, also the fact, uh, given the fact that uh, Australian dollar still looks uh, fairly overvalued uh, uh, compared to various uh, fair value uh, uh, measures. Uh, in, in the case of the yen, we suspect that uh, more resilience uh, for the yen could be the case uh, down the line. We think that the latest dollar-yen uh, strengthening or indeed yen uh, weakness uh, reflect uh, unjustified optimism regarding rate expectations outside Japan, but also unjustified pessimism regarding the speed of the deterioration in the Japanese external imbalances. Because of, uh, uh, because of that, we suspect that a yen resilience will be here to stay. As a result, uh, uh, Australian dollar versus yen, uh, as you said, is expected to weaken gradually from here, touching uh, 80 uh, in uh, 12 or falling to 80 uh, in 12 months. Thank you very much, Valentin, for speaking to Dukascopy TV. Now we'll have more targets and focus keeping you updated throughout the week, so stay tuned. But for the moment, goodbye.